Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and I'm gonna show you how to use this awesome iPhone 7 Adobe After Effects mock-up template. So uh, chances are you found it at this page here, uxmotion.net. You clicked this big yellow button, you put in your email here, you got the thing, you got the thank you page, everything is rocking. You clicked here and you downloaded your uh, the After Effects template, which is cool. So now, now that we're all caught up and you have like this zip file on the desktop and you're like, dude, I don't know what the heck is going on. Super simple, double click the folder, you get the After Effects project file. Um, and if you're not using the latest version of After Effects, you may have to use this one up here, I have them for both. Just double click whatever version works for you. Now check this out, here's the awesomeness. This is super, super simple. Check this, see this comp up here where it says screen replace. Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. So you have one of two options. So either you're working in your project and you want to import this file into your project or you can open up this template and then import your project into this template. I'm going to show you how to just um, how to import your project into this template first. So let's go ahead and just import your project. So under file import file and for reference, I'm just going to go ahead and use um, a lesson from my micro uh, like interactions tutorial package. You can find it over here, I believe, uxmotion.net slash shop now. It's awesome. It's my most popular tutorial package. Learn how to animate micro interactions with After Effects. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, of course I had to say that. I have to say that. I get They pay me to say that. Just kidding. I don't get paid any money to say that. This is how it works. What you may not have known is that you can import your After Effects project files into other After Effects project files. This is really cool. So I'm gonna hit open. Awesome, and now it just appears as a folder inside of here. If you make changes to this, it won't affect the original. It's just sort of uh, makes a new copy inside of this project. And now all I have to do is just drag this comp into the new composition where it says, you know, the screen replace Composition, make sure it's 1080 by 1920. If it's not, you may have to scale it up. If you hit, you know, uh, like S for scale, you can scale it up. But if it's not, um, you'll do that. If it is, then you're set and then you have your whole thing here. Now to sort of clean it up, if with your layer selected, you can hit uh, like O on the keyboard and then um, N to extend your work uh, like area. And then if you control click that, you can do trim comp. Now your whole composition will just be your UI animation. And now we, we get to play around. So check this out. So I've created these folders for the different presets. There's one for 4K, 720p, 1080p, and Dribble. Let's jump into the uh, 720p, it doesn't really matter. Let's do like two hands dark, cause that one's awesome. And now you can see, here I'll just kind of zoom in a little bit. You can see that the, your UI animation is now perfectly comped on this screen. And if you're like, dude, I don't want the gold phone, I want the matte black phone, you can just click that and you have it ready to go. And you can see now that the timeline of your comp has been trimmed. So all you have to do to render this is hit O on the keyboard and then um, N to close your work area. And now you can just do a quick RAM preview and it'll you know chug through it and do the preview and you can see that it's perfectly comped. So that's how this works. And the great thing about this whole thing is like you just have to do this once, right? So once you've replaced this screen, I can jump down into the iPhones, you know, dribble one. I can do the like one hand dark, boom. And here it is right here, already comped in. I can do one hand light. This one looks really nice. Ooh, look at that. And I can be like, you know what? I want to actually do the, uh, the the gold one looks cool. And I want like a lighter background. So I'm going to turn on the white background. I'm like, oh no, that's crazy bright. I like the light gray instead. So you can just play around with this. And then when you're done, you just hit render and there you are and it's good to go. So anyway, that's how it works. I couldn't make it any easier for you if I tried. Uh, I hope you like this and um, check out the other tutorials on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much.